Hello guys, welcome back to Jam Chemistry class. And of course, in today's class, we are going to be looking at coordinate covalent bond, which is negative bond, right? In our study into bonding, right, we have looked at ionic bond, which involves the transfer of electrons from one atom to the other. We have looked at uh, a covalent bond, which involves what the sharing of what share, sharing of what of electrons. Electrons are shared between what atoms participating in the formation of the bond. But in coordinate covalent bond, right, the sharing of the atom, right, the shared pairs of what of electrons is donated by only one of the atoms sharing it, right. So if two atoms are participating in what in coordinate covalent bond, right, the shared pair of electrons is donated by only one of the atom, and that is that is a very major or significant difference between the simple covalent bond and the coordinate covalent bond, right. In the coordinate co in the simple covalent bond, right, the two atoms sharing it what both contribute what uh, uh, an, an electron to become what a shared pair right now but in this coordinate covalent bond right only one of the what one of the participating what atom one of the participating what atom would contribute or donate what the shared pair of what of electron so usually people uh, uh usually say that what are the Coordinate covalent bond is like a is 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 it has a resemblance with the ionic bond. It has a resemblance with the ionic quad bond formation. Why? Because in ionic quad bond formation or electrovalent bond uh, bond formation, you see that what there is transfer of electron from one atom to the other, right? So it is one at one atom that is what that is transferring is what is electron to the other one. Right. So also in co in coordinate covalent bond, it is what one of the two atoms that are participating that that donates that word shared pair of electron. That shared pair of electron is donated by only one of the two atoms that are sharing it. All right. So that is why we say most time that what uh, is bond formation resembles that of what of the ionic word bond. Right. And another important thing you should note here is that transition metals. We're going to talk about periodic table. Soon. So, transition metals are a good candidate for dative bond formation. So, if you want to look at a candidate for dative bond formation, just quickly take a look at what transition metals they are. Good. They are good candidates for what for dative bond formation. All right. Now, there are those species that are that have what a uh, lone pair of electrons. They have what lone pair of what electrons and uh, and are able to form what we call coordination complexes. Right? So they are this what uh, coordination complexes like a molecule and atom that has a metal center. It has a metal center. So there are those species that that are what that, that are lone pair what that have a lone pair of electrons, and are able to form this coordination complex with what, with, with other metals, with other metals, or less frequently, or less frequently metalloids. Right. So we say there are those species that what that have a lone pair of what of electrons eh, and are able to form coordination complexes with what with metals or less frequently what metalloids. And what these species are what we call what we call ligands. Ligands. These species are what we call what ligands. As they are lone pair donors, as they are lone pair donors, lone pair donors. As they are lone pair donors, right, ligands are generally described as what? As Lewis bases. Lewis bases, right? So when we get to uh, uh, acid bases and salt, right, we see what Lewis acid and Lewis bases. Right? We're able to know why they are called lone pair or donors. So because they are lone pair, because ligands are lone pair donors, right, we call them what? Lewis what? Lewis bases. Now, depending on the number of electrons, Depending on the number of electrons a ligand can contribute to a metal, right? The number of what lig uh, the number of what uh, electrons a ligand can contribute to the to what to a metal. We have what what that is what is called hapticity or denticity. The number of electrons a ligand can contribute to a metal is called hapticity or denticity. Now, depending on what on the number of electrons a ligand can contribute what to a metal, right? Depending on the number of electrons a ligand can contribute 
to a meta then it may be described into what uh described as what monodentate monodentate right depending on the number of what electrons a ligand can contribute to a metal it may be described as monodentate by what by dentate by dentate or what polydent polydentate now so we may describe what ligands into what monodentate what bidentate or the polydentate or variety depending on the number of electrons that ligand can what can contribute to a metal right so with the exception of this monodentate variety with the exception of this monodentate variety ligands are called what what to call chelating agents ligands are called chelating agents with the exception of this monodentate variety and we're saying that depending on the number of electrons a ligand can contribute to a metal right it may be described as monodentate bidentate or polydentate now with the exception of this monodentate variety ligands are called chelating what agent it's very important that you take note here that ligands are called chelating what agents with the exception of this word monodentate variety now the, no, uh, the number of ligand molecules combined to a metal atom right in a coordination complex the number of what of what ligand molecules that are combined to a metal atom in a coordination complex is called the coordination number of what of the metal coordination number of the metal right the number of ligand of ligand what molecules combined to a metal atom in a coordination complex is known as the coordination number of a metal so they say what is the coordination number of, of metal the coordination number of metal the number of ligand molecules right that are combined to a metal what atom in a coordination complex right so that's what that's what's called what, the coordination number of what of a metal of a particular metal right because we have already said that transition metals are what are good candidates for what for dative what bonding isn't it now the size the size the size of a ligand or molecule is described by its cone angle cone angle the size of a ligand molecule right is described by its or cone by its cone angle so we use the cone angle for the ligand to describe what the size of the ligand all right now simple ligands include of course we have uh, water ammonia ammonia simple ligands but well, i want to see why ammonia is also coming under our coordinate covalent of bond right right uh, water ammonia cyanide also uh cyanide sorry cyanide right even chloride ions chloride ions these are all what simple ligands they are, they are simple what they are simple what ligands all right simple ligands with water ammonia cyanide and what and chloride what ions all right now uh species can be called dative they can be called dative if they contain both coordinate covalent bond or the simple covalent bond right that means you can say in other words that what all covalent bonds are dative but not all dative species are covalent you get me now right all covalent bonds are dative but not all dative species are what are covalent bond let's see examples of dative species examples of dative dative, uh, dative species will include uh for example carbon monoxide carbon mono oxide this is a dative or species that is co right co all right we also have triosonitrate 5 triosonitrate 5 acid right that is the h n o three right that is also another example of a ligand we also have of course ammonium ion ammonium ion that is n h four plus all right the ammonium ion is also another type of what of a dative or species then we also have uh, aluminum chloride aluminum chloride which is which exists as a dimer al2 cl3 or al3 right so aluminum chloride uh 
is another example of what of of a dative or species. We also have tetramine copper two ions. Tetramine, tetramine copper two ions. That is what uh, Cu NH3 for two plus, right? This is what another example of, of a dative word species. So these are examples of dative species: carbon monoxide, trazo nitrified acid, ammonia ion, aluminum chloride, tetraamine copper two word ion. They are all examples of what of dative word species. So we have been able to to discuss in general terms what coordinate covalent bond is right general we said what the shared pairs of electron is donated only really one of the two atoms or that are sharing it and it tends to resemble a ionic what or electrovalent bond formation right because what uh one of the atoms contributes contributes or donates what that was shared pair all right uh, all right so we also said that transition metals are good Candidate for dative bond word formation, and we say those species that 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 uh, that have what long pair of electrons and are capable of forming uh, uh, coordination complexes with metals or less frequently non uh, metalloids, right, are known as what are known as ligands, right. And we say what uh, depending on number of electrons a ligand can uh, uh, number of electrons a ligand can contribute to a metal, then it is it it is it is may be called what monodentate, which is apticity or denticity. It may be monodentate, bidentate, or polydentate. And so, with the exception of this monodentate variety, say ligands are called what chelating agents. All right. So we have talked about all this, and we have seen simple simple ligands, simple ligands such as water, ammonia, uh, and so on. Now we are talking about dative dative or species. Um, this is what we just look at: copper monoxide, trazo nitrified, ammonium, aluminum chloride. So as expected to what to know to know what. Um, as uh, species that 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 favor what dative or bonding species that have what dative bonding in them so just know some of them on your head right so that once you see uh see a compound you say oh, this compound uh what kind of bond is found this kind of compound right because you have already what be able to uh to study it you have already be able to know some of them on your head it's easier for you to easily what to pick your option and go to the next question so do not forget that this video tutorial also is brought to you by the otd school jump app do not forget to download and what and activate it for wonderful what uh, performance in your exam it also the past question you need uh, so download activate and of course as you study we'll see you in the next class thanks for watching